bag in her thing. That or you? No. <laughs> You're a huge spectacular thing. Oh yeah, right. Well, thanks for joining us. I have Michael here and we have a spot that we have to take off because why is it needed to be taken off? Tell us. Well, it's been there a long time and uh, I don't think it belongs. Don't think it belongs. And we think that because there's a little skin tag right next to it. And it's different from that one. It's really yeah. irritated and... It's red. Well, it gets inflamed from time to time, but most of the time it's uh, totally asymptomatic. So. Okay. Well, because of that abnormal behavior, we'll go ahead and take it off, send it off for biopsy. It's probably just a seborrheic keratosis or a skin tag. Yeah. But when they get irritated like that, we like to just make sure. We also have this skin tag here, which, uh, although it's pigmented, it's been there for a very long time with no changes, and doesn't have more than one color. Uh, there's not really significant color variation. And the edges around the base aren't terribly irregular, so we'll probably leave that alone uh, because it, it's just a pigmented skin tag rather than something concerning. Well, I wanted to tell you that um, there's a shortage of lidocaine with epinephrine. Uh-huh. You're kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. Really? We have lidocaine, uh -huh. but we don't have lidocaine with epi. Uh, you know what? It uh, has slight uh, uh, vasoconstrictive uh, 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 properties is uh, carbocaine. Oh, really? By itself? Yeah. yeah I'll give you a little injection here. Well, cocaine would too, but... I've never seen it used in this form. I, uh, the guy I took over my practice from was a older gentleman and uh, he didn't use aspirating syringes when he gave anesthetic and uh, he had patients react, you know, because I'm oh, sure he'd he go he into injected in vascular, vascular intravent. and then they, uh, he would tell them that they were uh, allergic to the and of course you can't be, you make it yourself. So our viewers are going to wonder <laughs> what, what you were doing, what your, your uh, profession was. Oh, as a dentist, but I did a lot of surgical yeah. stuff. Yeah. So what's your most interesting case that you remember from practice? Well, let's see, I had a uh, lady come in when I was in private practice. There's lots of stories from when I was in, working at the county hospital. But I had a lady come in, she had a lesion up in the reflex of her mouth, you know, between the cheek and gums as it were. and. Uh, it was a strange looking thing. And she said she'd had it uh, biopsied at Fort Ord. And uh, so I tried to find out, you know, call Fort Ord and of course, if, find nothing, you know. There was, there was no, the records got lost or who knows. But uh, so I biopsied it and it turned out to be a incredibly rare lesion. It was only the third one ever reported in the medical literature. And uh, in fact, I had her back uh, and talked to her and and, uh, and uh, told her, you know, I can't tell you what to do about this thing, but I can tell you what I would do is it doesn't belong in there. Yeah. So get it, get it the heck out of there, you know, and uh, so I referred her to a surgeon because it was a pretty large lesion. It looked to me, it had a grayish tint and it was kind of wrinkly. It looked like elephant's hide to me. And, uh, but, uh, rip that down. Oh yeah, you mustn't put a blemish in the. You want to see it? Sure, why not? Good, looks like a burn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that powder we put on it. Okay. So this this will just heal up very nicely. Oops. I can't put it in there. You know, it's a good thing you got clumsy after we were done. <laughs> <laughs>
That's that's the order you do it in. First you do the procedure, <laughs> then you get clumsy. You do instill confidence in your patient. <laughs> I'm glad it's you. <laughs> yeah. Not somebody else. Well, I, I won't make any comment about where I find you uh, after hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we can go take a trip down to Roseville now and again. Yeah. Although there's micro brews all over the place. You look like you're having a good evening. Or, yeah, we well, had fun. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks for letting us do this. My, my thought is it's just going to turn out to be a benign lesion. If it were to be, you know, an early squamous cell, unlikely basal cell, then we'd have to take out more around it with some yeah. emergence. And, uh, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a problem. Well, it sure didn't look like a basal cell. No. No. And yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not a squamous cell, but let's yeah. just make sure. Well, that's why I wanted you to get it out of there. Yeah. To be sure. So. All right. The only way to know for sure is biopsy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, we're generous on the biopsies. Yeah. As it sounds like you were in Yeah, and yeah, it's in doubt. Take it out. Yeah. Yeah. And know that you're not leaving cancer in somebody. That's what I talk about politics. If in doubt, vote them out. <laughs> I've heard that used for a lot of My people. dad did said that. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for joining us. Mike, thanks so much for being on the video with sure, the people. Sure. Until next time, Mike, Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.